Thank you all. I think uh, that deserves an applause. <laughs> Thank you, Annika, for your courage. Um, oh, Annika. Annika was in the safe hands of uh, Dr. Franke, who um, is a specialized laryngologist. When I first read the word laryngologist, I had to go to Wikipedia to figure out what that means. But maybe more well known is the word ENT, ear, nose, and throat uh, medical specialist. This is a differentiation within that field. And um, Dr. Franke is an expert in um, the voice box of that area of our body. And what he just did, he made a recording of the uh, vocal box, the voice box, the vocal cords, I should say, of, uh, of Anneke. Um, well, we're set. Welcome. Thank you. And thank you for bringing this impressive device and all your experience to share with us a little bit more about how this instrument inside our throat actually um, works. You, you started your career uh, some time ago um, as a pediatric, pediatric surgeon. Well, I did some training. Okay. And then later in time, you specialized in this particular field. Um, can you just tell us how do you make these vocal cords visible? How do you do this? Well, what we have here uh, on the screen, I can show you, is these are the vocal cords. This is where you see the arrow, the front of the throat. This is the back. And strangely, this is the right, and that is the left. And what we do is make an image of the vocal cords. And if you would do it right, you need to take five, four or 5,000 uh, frames per second a high-speed camera. We sounds, can't do it. Sounds like a cartoon. Well, this, we're going to make it a cartoon we're gonna make because it we a don't cartoon. have a high-speed camera here. So what I, we do is look at the vocal cords here in the square and we see the different phases of the vocal cord opening and closing. And this is how, like cartoon-like, we can make a film because the eye, if we push it rapidly, the eye looks at it as a film. Yeah. What is it that activates the vocal cords? What happens there? Well, what you see here actually are two muscles with um, mucosa on it, which is a gelatinous substance. And the vocal cords, they can get longer or smaller. And it's like a string. And like the contrabass, low, long string, low, or the violin, high. Yeah. And when you talk, you can vary the string, but that doesn't make the sound. The sound is made by the mucosa, the gelatinous part upon it, and you can see the, the, the mucosa here creating the waves. So actually, the muscle is still, mm. and the waves are created by the mucosa on top of the vocal cord. Right. Is, is, is that how, because one of the things I find intriguing when, when we listen to our, our first speakers and in general, when we listen to someone speak to us, that females seem to have a higher pitch generally compared to male that seem to have a lower well, pitch. Basically, what that's makes true. The difference? Basically, that's true. The, the, the male voice has a vocal cord of 1.75 to 2.5 centimeters. The female voice has 1.25 centimeters to 1.75. Basically, it relates to a pitch 85 to 180 in males and 160 to 250, 255 in females. So the, the pitch of females are, is a lot higher. Uh, you, you, you made comparison uh, with, with, with the bass, uh, like a cello, like an instrument. So, so th the longer the string, the lower the, 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 the tone, right? Yes, uh, uh, we can see it in replay. Uh, if you look at the vocal cords, you see, well, you hear the sound, and I'll keep the mic a little close. Uh, you see the, the vocal cords stretching and shortening while the, the sound changes. Mm -hmm. 
It almost looks like an oyster. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful uh, picture for me to look at. You, you, yeah, you, and you speak about it with a lot of passion. I mean, in the medical field, there's so many subjects you can choose from when you study uh, medical science. Um, you know, what got you into this particular profession? What's your, can I say, passion about this well, particular area? It, 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 it's, it's twofold, uh, threefold. Firstly, it's easily visible. Right. That's one, one, one advantage. Uh, it's technical, which is me. But the thir third is that the voice is uh, the mirror of the soul. And working with voice people who are, uh, whether it's somebody at the phone or somebody in concert singing, it tells something about them and it's great to yeah. help them when they have problems there. You can feel it, right? You can, we can feel it and it, 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 it's so fun to, to help them to, to get back in, on the road again. On that note, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for your explanation, sharing your knowledge here today. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, Dr. Franke. Thank you.